I'm here at another stop for a girls' preview of basketball. I'm with Coach Adair of the Ingemar Falcons, girls' basketball coach. We're to speak with him before we preview the team today. Coach, coming off a championship last year, obviously the goal is to get back there. What's the momentum on the team? How are you guys going to do that? Uh, probably battle complacency. That's that's the uh, our number one enemy, I think, is the enemies within. I've been saying that to them for a while now. Is, is mainly is we got to take care of ourselves, and we got to make sure that we don't become complacent and just think that you know because we won last year, have a lot of returning players, that it just automatically happens. That we would be foolish to think that. It's, it certainly does not happen that way. So our number one goal is just taking care of ourselves. Now. You guys, there's a spirit here. Obviously, everybody's riding a high because the girls' volleyball team, and I know that can bring in good momentum. But you guys are going up to two-way now in basketball. What kind of challenges does that present for you guys this year? When you enter a new classification, we've done this before. I mean, from 15, 2015, we bumped up to two-A in 16. And that, that year, we had went to a state semifinal, gotten beat, and then bumped up. And it's just the unknown, I mean, really. I mean, you, you know some of the teams that are out there that are your consistent two-A programs. I mean, you, we know, we identify those. But there's the element of the unknown is what is the most, I guess, worrisome is what you say, is just not being familiar with every single body in two-A. Thanks so much, Coach, and we wish you the best on this season, okay? Thank you very much. My name is Allison Beard, and I'm a senior at Ingemar Attendance Center. My favorite place to eat is Noose Eatery. Um, I like that place because it has lots of options. I always get the pizza there. And my favorite place to shop is Alfred State because they always have cute clothes. <laughs> Shopping's my favorite thing to do. Hi, my name is Kylie Jumper, and I'm a senior at Ingemar Attendance Center. And my favorite place to eat is at New Pueblo, and my favorite place to shop is at Factory Connection. I'm Anna Lauren Glass, and I'm a senior here at Ingemar Attendance Center. And my favorite restaurant to eat at is Texas Roadhouse, and my favorite shopping place is Bliss Boutique and Cheap Plus. Like I said, I'm here at Ingemar. Here's a couple of team managers. Y'all ladies want to introduce yourself. Let's start with you in the blue shirt. And what are the roles of team managers? Um, a lot of the time during games, we pick stats. And I personally pick the iPad, which keeps specific stats for every player. And it makes it really easy for team. What's something y'all don't like to do? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna go back to state? Yeah. Here, here. This is where we want. Here, she raises up the shoe. I'm here, I tighten up, she drops it down. I bounce off just a little bit to give myself a little bit of room. It's constant that, but if I'm standing flat footed guarding, makes it easy. Daylin and Macy, two of the girls on the basketball team here at Ingemar. Daylin, you guys won the championship last year. What's the key with trying to get back again this year, even though you guys have gone up to two-way? Um, definitely keeping the same like dog mindset that we had last year. Last year with Biggersville, you know, we were just set down set on playing them and beating them, and we had prepared all season long 
Well, this year we won the state championship and we have a target on our back. So we're going to try to keep that same target um, and push, just push more to be a two-time state champion instead of just one. And it's a lot of a lot of things that people don't get to say. And we're going to fight and our um, defense. We're going to try to have good defense and because um, defense was a good thing for us last year. And we want to have a lot of defensive dogs on the team because defense really does help win the games and conditioning a lot when last year we conditioned a whole lot and that really helped us for our endurance during the state championship last game which not a lot of people have a lot of strength to condition as much as we do you know last year and kind of keeping that same mindset and as we go into this season so we can get more transition and just try to play together and be a team and try to be a 2A state champ. Thanks so much Daylin. Mm -hmm. Macy first of all congrats for coming off that back-to-back -back volleyball championship championship now this year, uh, same thing. Obviously, we talked about in the podcast wanting to go back to back in basketball. How do you feel y'all will do that in two a bouncing off what Daylon said? Yeah, I think we're just going to keep that dog mindset. You know, that refuse to lose. I think that that's something that you can say about a lot of our athletes is they just hate losing, and I think that that pushes us, you know, to the next level and makes lets us find that second year when we need to. Um, but this basketball season is a lot like our volleyball season because. Last year's volleyball season, you know, we had Hickory Flat. They had beaten us in the north half two or three years in a row. And so, you know, Hickory Flat was our big game. And, you know, that was that was the mountaintop for us was beating them. And then same thing with basketball, Biggersville. We were just, like, dead set on beating them. And so, you know, now we've moved up to 2A. And we didn't really have anybody in volleyball. And we don't really have anybody in basketball that we we're just, like, targeting like we did last year. Um but I think, just like we said, just that refuse to lose mindset, like we want to be two times in both, you know. And so just I think that that was one of our biggest things in volleyball was um, pushing ourselves to the next level um, and not getting complacent. And I think that that's something that we're going to have to fight out here on the basketball court just because it's just so easy. Um, but I think, that, I think that that's our biggest goal is just to keep pushing ourselves and keep striving because it is a lot like our volleyball this season like we just you know you had to push yourself to not be complacent and I think that's gonna be our biggest goal on this court like on basketball season comes it's just not to be complacent and just keep striving to be better thanks so much Macy they'll kick the season off November 7th I look forward to coming out to check these girls out this year this your boy Leo keeping it real with all sports reels mm -hmm.